Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Taylor and I teach third grade in Central California. Today is Monday, August 10th, and I've been in meetings literally all day. It is 5.30, I'm finally done. I need to get out of this house. So naturally, I'm gonna do what all teachers do. I'm gonna go to Hobby Lobby. Let's go. So I was wanting this, but more white. I'm assuming it would have been right here. Urgh. So I don't know if I should just go with the normal wood. I guess I'm, I'm not gonna lie, this striped is pretty cool. But I don't know how dedicated I am to stripes. There's two wooden ones left. Let's do it. I don't know if this is extra or not, but I'm really thinking about some lights. I think they look super cute around my board or just around any important board, I guess. I think I just want lights, let's be real. I don't know if this is a good idea or a bad idea. Do people ever use wrapping paper for the classroom walls? Cause I mean, this is super cute. Flowers might be a little bit too much, but that's cute. Or even just like this gold. <laughs> I know this is probably the most logical choice, but my freaking brain is really liking this cactus. So I think I'm gonna go for the cactus and put this back. And then I would find it for five bucks. I'm not doing the best at filming this week, but today's Tuesday and I just got done with my morning set of meetings. It's 11.30, so it's supposed to be about lunchtime. And today's morning meeting from 8 a.m. all the way till 11, whatever it is, has just been meeting with our third grade team. And this is probably the most useful PD that we've had in the last two weeks, so <laughs> progress. Ended up putting some final touches on my Bitmoji classroom and helping my friend create a Harry Potter Bitmoji classroom. She's our teacher lead and she's just always so helpful. So really helping her out was the least I could do. And it's just more creative fun stuff. So let me go show you what hers looks like. This is where I've been chilling all morning. There's my little cricket. And this has just been where I'm at. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to switch you to my computer. To walk you through my Bitmoji classroom adventures. Here's my first one. So this is how it originally looked. This is the rustic classroom from Teaching Spanish with Senora Ford Fodner. Uh, sorry, I just butchered that. But this is $3 and I got it on the back to school sale. And as you can see, I kind of fixed it up. The bookshelf that was right here, I ended up just hiding it under here that way. That way it looks like a little bookshelf underneath here. And I noticed that this looks really clean cut and sweet and I like that. But once I started adding in like all the text and like buttons and stuff, it's like, all right, this looks kind of crowded. So I made this one. <laughs> so this is from Miss Kayla's Virtual Teaching. It's so cute, just way more me. And I've turned it into my own by adding these little buttons. So when you click classroom expectations, that takes you to my class expectations. This was on Facebook. That's where my mentor found it, I'm pretty sure. So I just added my little bit emojis, called it good. Then if you click on meet the teacher, that'll take you to my meet the teacher. This is from Tied to Teaching on Teachers Pay Teachers and it was $2, but super cute and helpful. And I'm just gonna continue to add a little more things here and there, a video of me explaining how to use Bitmoji Classroom and Canvas. These little buttons to find, I forget words, math, zoom, library's gonna take you to my on, and I'm gonna add the days of the week with the specific assignments that we're going to be doing. Oh, and then let me show you the one I worked on today. So I kind of combined this and made it into its own separate thing, but it has all of these other really cool pages with amazing characters and stuff. But I just felt like this was a little too much. So I just tried to combine it into a more simple layout. So this is my friend's Bitmoji. She has anchor charts. And I did the days of the week for hers already. I added a little quote. Library again, you will click that and it'll take you to whatever library she decides. Zoom and meet the teacher. So this is her little layout. 
And, and I think that's it. Good morning. Today's the first day officially going back to my classroom. I'm so excited. This is my first time that I'm back and that means part one of classroom setup. Because we are doing virtual teaching, I'm not setting up my entire classroom. It's going to look very different actually. And I'm probably only gonna set up like this first little section. We'll see when we get there. But for now, I'm gonna set up my teacher desk because I'm gonna have a bunch of meetings and I need to try to connect my laptop to my smart board. So I'm gonna set you down and let's get this situated. and we're just still talking about how to set up our homepage on Canvas and how similar across the board we wanna make it for third grade. That was super random. All right, let's get back to trying to set up my desk. I don't know if this was the right smart order to do any of this. I basically just wanna see if I can get my computer connected to my smart board. And now that I have that set up, not decorated, but set up, I'm gonna give that a try. Stop with that freaking noise. I thought we fixed you. Okay, I have a meeting in 10 minutes. Okay. Okay, that is huge to have checked off. I'm happy with that. Now, the fun stuff. Well, not the fun stuff because I have a meeting first, but then the fun stuff. That means decorating, by the way. All right, so it is 12 o'clock. I just wrapped up my other meeting and I'm doing that thing where I think I'm just so overwhelmed that I'm tired and just want to sleep, but I can't. So I got to be productive and I'm just staring at, okay, come on. Like how depressing is that to just work with 23 socially distanced desks in your room? No, 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 I need to move them. This is not a good work environment. This needs to be more like an office that I teach in rather than a classroom because there's just no way it's gonna feel like a classroom without kiddos. So let's move these desks, see how I feel, and then decorate that wall before my meeting at one. Okay, so I've rearranged my room in a way that I never thought I would rearrange a classroom. <laughs> we have the lone kidney table in the middle of the classroom. I just need all these desks kind of out of my mind, out of my space, because I'm not gonna be working with these desks, but they're here. So in case we go back to hybrid or normal, oh, I hope so much that that happens. Whenever that happens, I will gladly throw these desks back into their spots where they belong in the classroom. So for now, I have a weird lone classroom with just my board, my kidney table, another table back here, cause that's gonna be where most of my like supplies and stuff are. And then, oh, plus side, I did add this little table in front of my desk. That covers my cords, which solves my problem. And then I just have random stacks of chairs. Cause I don't know where to put those. I would normally think to put them like in that back corner, but I can enter and exit throughout that door. And I really like having that. So I don't want to block that off too much. Okay, well, that was a little workout moving all those desks around. So I'm going to set you down. I have about 30 minutes before my next meeting. So let's see what we can get done. Guys, I don't know. Should I keep the blue? Besides the fact that they freaking ripped part of that off. Should I keep the blue and just add the wood around it? That way there's color or should I just scrap the blue and put all wood? All right, I put my hair up, it's getting serious. I think I'm sticking with the blue because I remember how big of a pain in the butt it was to go around all these like plugins and whatever it is. So I'm going to stick with the blue also because it adds a pop of color. So I got extra blue, I'm going to just put it pretty much right there. And then the wood, I'm gonna come in and do all along the top and then all around this section. Okay. I forgot to press record, sorry. But it took five minutes, it's done. Okay, I need to log into my next meeting. I'm gonna try and see if I can still like listen and work on some stuff. Wish me luck.
Okay, the wood is done. It looks super cute. Not so perfect on this side, but I definitely got better as it went on. I'm happy with it. I like it. I think I'm gonna do all wood on that wall. I'm going to make this like the fun wall, like with birthdays and stuff like that and really make a big deal out of birthdays this year because it really helped build that classroom community and help kids really get to know one another. All right, here's my thing. I wanna add borders, like cactus borders here, or should I add them along the top? I don't know, because really, which one are you more likely to see? Because the answer is really neither, but if you're gonna see one, which one should I put cactuses on? Front blue, yay, already set up, organized, ready to go. Mm. And the front board is done. I added the cute cactuses on top and then I fixed the little spot down there where I needed to add the polka dots. And I also quickly added the polka dots around the edges. And when I picked up the polka dot trim, I realized that I think I had polka dots up there too. And that's just too much work. I'm not, they're lucky they got the cactuses up there. So I'm not putting on the polka dots. I think it looks fine the way it is, but I do have one little thing I want to add and see if it works out. Okay, super cute, but I gotta be honest, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to keep them. I think our screen is like laser thing, so I have to make sure the lights are just right to where they're not gonna tap anything. It looks super cute though. I might try and find a way to where it's like I tape it along the out outside, or maybe not even on the board itself, but like around the board to where it still looks like lights. We'll see, but for now, that looks pretty dang cute. <laughs> Okay, so I think that is it for day one of classroom setup. <sighs> Granted, I didn't get as much done because meetings and everything else, but but I'm super happy with the way things turned out. All right, so that is it for classroom setup day one. If you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up, subscribe down below if you haven't already, and I'll see you really soon for day two. Bye guys.